six days of work, too much, get home, pissing down rain, what do you do? You go fishing anyway. So, spin polar, dive a grub, like a baby goat imitation. Running around weedless, we'll slide that up. Uh, what do we got? We've got the pinwheel today and the Axis running 6 pound Little Soul Mormoy braid and a 6 pound FC Rock Fluoro Leader. And we're going to go target some redfin. So, fingers crossed we can pull something, you know, high 30s, even maybe a 40. Anyway, it's 45k wins, it's absolutely terrible. But all we're going to do with these bad boys, sink them to the bottom, hop them up about a metre, let them sink, leave them on a slack line for about 10 seconds. Watch that belly in your line. See that tick in your line? She got eaten. Hook her up. That's pretty much all you do. Anyone can do this. It is really simple, but it is a fun way to fish. So, anyway, see what we can get. Very limited casting room. fish. That was a good fish. That's a snag. Wow. Alright, so it's just a bit snaggy in there. Look at that, fish and weedless are still picking up snags. Seems like they're hungry. He came back on a nice ground eat there. It's not a bad fish either. Oh. There we go, he's out. Not bad. Good start. Chunk. Nice chunk. Let's see if I can get him up. Without losing him. Give me a mate. Nice junk. There you go, that's beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. That's gonna be is it be up there in the forty? Lovely, absolutely lovely. All right, guys, nice big chunk there. Give him a swim off technique. See you, mate. Have a kick. See you later. Crazy. Good fish. Nice 40s. See who else lives in here. Little damn but anyway, so I'm using this for a yabby. So I am just popping it about a meter off the bottom and letting it sit. Now it's sinking and standing upright on that net head. And old mate come and pick that up off the ground before, which is uh, generally where you get the bigger ones. I'm gonna follow it and stare at it for a little bit. So. Don't be afraid to pause it and leave it on the ground for 8, 10, 12, 15 seconds. Oh, very snaggy in there. Oh, see you later. Ouch. Tough gig sometimes. Now, yeah, Mr. Treat, do me a favour. Hold me rod. Mm, dicey. Yep. Stay there for a second. Oh, 
So now these um, diver grubs that I'm fishing, they're like a pretty much a baby goat imitation, baby imitation, imitation of an imitation. Call them what you want, but um, they are highly elastic, extremely stretchy. Okay, and stretchy plastics like this and the Z-Mans and some of the bait junkies can be difficult to rig. So I'm rigging this weightless. So I want the dark side on top. So what I'm going to do is pin it down through the center, turn it out the bottom, slide it up, spin it around like I did, and then I'm going to come behind, grab, and I'm going to drag that over the top like that. Okay, until it pins in behind. Sorry, I'm making a mess of it. Do it in three seconds when you're not trying to explain it to somebody, but anyway. And if all goes right, you want your grub to sit, or your yabby, to sit flat. Okay, just like that. And because it's a little snaggy down there, I'm going to bury the back of that hook point, just ever so slightly, in the back there. And it doesn't hurt the hook up. Fish take it deep, let them hold on to it, wait for them to turn, strike. Let's get a try deep. Oh, pretty close. <laughs> Here comes the rain again. I'll get this camera. Drop, little fella. Yeah, he's just a little fella about 24, 25. No, he's about 22, 23. So we had that hook point buried in the back of the plastic and, and no issue. I wonder if there's a school, there might be some. Minnows. Monster minnows. Sun's come out, that's nice. The rain's still falling. That's another nice fish too. Took it off the bottom. Missed the hook up, let it sit and come back on it. Or there's a better school down there. Yeah, there's a bay one. There's another nice red, have a go at that. Huh? Down his gob. Just get the pliers out for that fella. I'll give him a measure too, but I'll call him for a 36. It's a flat ground. Here we go. Let's see where he goes. 36 is a call. Not bad. 34 and a bit. Anyway. Old mate's having it. Here's another nice fish. Took him at 34. So 
be smaller than the other one. Anyway. Off it goes. See you later. Let's go bag some more.